Ever wondered how to create endless, mesmerizing textures and patterns? In today's Stable Diffusion tutorial, we're uncovering the secrets to mastering seamless designs. Join me as we explore the magic of AI-driven creativity and revolutionize your design process. I am using Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111, and to activate the tiling function, you need to go to the Settings tab, then click on User Interface on the left. Scroll down until you find the Quick Settings list. If you click on Info, you can see what each setting does. Now add the word Tiling here. Once the word is added, it will appear like a tag with an X, so you can remove it if you need to later. Scroll up and press Apply Settings. This will show you which settings have changed. Then, click on the Reload UI button. Now you should see an option to activate or deactivate tiling. I will test some prompts that have given me nice results. Since it's trying to repeat everything, not every prompt will provide the best results but with a little prompt engineering, you can get some nice tileable images. Um, here's a beautiful floral pattern. Um, to test how it repeats, uh, you can search on Google for a seamless pattern tester. I found this Bardo brush website. You just drag your image onto this website and it will repeat it for you. What's nice is that it lets you adjust the, the scale so you can see the details. And as you can see, it repeats perfectly. Now, let's test another with some watercolor roses. Floral seamless patterns can be used to enhance the visual appeal of various items and projects, including textiles, wallpapers, stationery, web design, packaging, crafts, and more. Now here, I generated one with snowflakes that can work for Christmas and winter projects. You can also generate textures that you can use in your 3D software or to texture your game assets, um, or you can just use them as a background. More experimentation is needed, but um, I am sure you can get some really interesting textures. What is cool is that you can tile these together to get a bigger size image. For example, if you repeat on the left and on top, you get a double-sized image, and if you repeat again, it doubles again. This way, you can create huge textures. This one has some nice paintbrush strokes and it would be quite hard to create something that repeats like this manually. Um, I was playing around with 3D organic forms and got this one that has nice dimension and is quite interesting looking. Here is another one that looks like an organic glass pattern. You can prompt for all kinds of things like landscapes if you want and sometimes you get lucky with some interesting results or you might end up with a complete psychedelic mess. Here I tried to create a tribal totem which looks quite interesting. However, a common problem with intricate designs is that they cannot be created clearly and nicely due to the limited size at which we generate them. So, I will enable high resolution, high res fix, and use a denoise strength of 0.45, upscale by 2, and your favorite upscaling method now. Now, when I hit generate, I will get a 2048 pixel image. It took about 52 seconds to achieve that size. Look at how it changed when I added the bigger size. Observe the details. It's a better quality image, in my opinion. Now you don't have to have a square image, you can try different ratios. Sometimes if it's not square, the pattern will look more natural when repeated, but the design will look different. It won't be like a cropped image of the square. As you can see, I get a completely different design using the same seed when I change the aspect ratio. Thank you for joining me on this creative adventure. If you found these pattern designs inspiring, be sure to hit that subscribe button for Pixaroma your engagement is our motivation to continue exploring and sharing unique artistic techniques and ideas. We appreciate your support and viewership. Stay tuned for more exciting content. And remember, your creativity is limitless. Stay creative and see you in the next video.